Welcome to this daily devotion for Thursday, April 1st, 2021. I'm Pastor Mark, along with Pastor Wesley. We serve the United Methodist Church of New Lenox and offer you this daily devotion. That's a time to grow in love of God and love of neighbor. Our theme this week has been the living Christ as we approach Easter Sunday. Today is Monday, Thursday, the day we traditionally remember the Last Supper, the time Jesus gathered with his disciples and taught us what we now call the Eucharist, or Holy Communion. So let us be in an attitude of prayer and gratitude as we invite God into this time. O God, whose Son declared himself to be the resurrection and the life, give me now a sense of the presence of the one who is alive forevermore. I pray. Amen. We continue to look at Psalm 23 in the Common English Bible, starting in verse 5. You set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil. My cup is so full it spills over. Yes, surely goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord as long as I live. God bless the reading of the psalm. Interesting that communion themes are ripe in these final two verses of Psalm 23. You set a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Remember, Jesus sat at the table with the disciples who would flee, with a disciple who would deny him, with a disciple who would betray him, sell him out for 30 pieces of silver. You anoint my head with oil. In John, Jesus washes the disciples' feet. David may be referring to when he was anointed with oil to become the king. Jesus would be anointed with a uh, a crown of thorns. Yeah, there we go. he would become king on a cross. Here is the king of the Jews. My cup is so full, it spills over. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many. And on the cross, Jesus cries, I thirst, pouring out fully the font of living water. You will pursue me all the days of your life. And I will live in the Lord's house as long as I live. Communion, the Lord's Supper, Eucharist, is a reminder of the new covenant that was established by Christ for us so that we could live in the Lord's house forever and ever. Continue to reflect on those things. And think of that as you read this psalm. Today's reading is from A Diary of Private Prayer. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, I commit all my ways unto Thee. I make over my soul to Thy keeping. I pledge my life to Thy service. May this day be... For me, a day of obedience, charity, a day of happiness and peace. May I walk and conversation be as becometh the gospel of Christ. Amen. Today we pray for those who are struggling. As we gather at our own tables, Perhaps you'll search the internet for a Monday, Thursday service. We are not providing one this year. 
we will be doing two services. We have our ecumenical service tomorrow morning and our Good Friday service tomorrow evening. But as you reflect on the Last Supper, and as we participate in communion, perhaps, if you're going to be live with us on Sunday, or if you join us virtually, we have ways to do that. You can sign up for Zoom communion with Pastor Wesley. Let us remember always those who are struggling and those who we can offer bread and wine to, those who we can offer life to through Christ. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to remember the Last Supper, the last time you ate with your friends before your crucifixion. We remember the beautiful words you said to them, the prayer you prayed for them and us. We remember how you left singing hymns, how you left celebrating, and how you journeyed to the garden and prayed and struggled like so many of us do. You continue to walk our paths. Be with us now. And allow us to be encouraged by you in all things we do. We pray this in your holy name. And we pray the prayer you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, a shorter devotion today. We'll probably have a shorter one tomorrow because we have other services. Take some time and read the stories. The second half of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all tell the passion story. Relive it again. Hear it again. Walk with Jesus. Watch one of your favorite passion movies. The Greatest Story Ever Told. The Passion of the Christ by Mel Gibson. Jesus Christ Superstar. Godspell. Even Jesus of Nazareth. The Gospel of John. The Last Temptation of Christ, if you're really out there. But spend time today. As we move into this weekend, this holy, precious Passion Weekend, and until tomorrow, hear the benediction. Lord Jesus, I have heard you knocking at the door. Come in. And abide with me. I throw the door wide open. Come in. Come in and never leave me be. Amen. Until Good Friday, friends. Goodbye.